Back at this construction site. XP days two, digging bottles. We're gonna see how it goes. Carrie and James are coming. I think uh, Jamie and possibly uh, some other people may be coming as well. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna dig this way. Actually that way a little bit first. And then uh, come back this way. The bottle right there. Let's go. It's a screw top. That's no good. Go. Sloan's liniment. Okay, it's all there. Got a little crack on the side there. Yep. Sloan's limit. Bottles came from a line of privies that they dug up right along this fence line. Huh. To put a sewage pipe down. Well, there's a there's there's a pipe there's a uh, uh, iron pipe there and a, a terracotta pipe that comes right to here. Yeah, that, that might going be that way. Right. I don't know if that's it or not. But said they dug about eight or ten privies along here. Yep. Along this line here. And um, <clears throat> hmm. that's where all those bottles come from. But there was 180 something bottles in there and probably maybe 30 John Ryan's. Yeah. That was like a buckle. Buckle thing or something. Sash buckle. Yeah, it's a sash that's buckle. A Broken. That's cool. Here's the sash buckle. And you can see the gilt kind of coming through um, the, the, that one side and the, and the back side as well. Pretty fancy. What you got? What? Let me see. <laughs> oh man, that's incredible shape. No scratches? You just found it right there? Holy oh. smokes! Oh, nice. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Dude! Congrats! Congrats. Yeah, okay. That That's an old Pepsi. Man, it's in pretty good shape. Hmm. I wonder how old that is. That's interesting. We'll save it. Here's this Pepsi bottle cap. This is a vintage Pepsi bottle cap. It's actually in pretty good condition. Um, from like 1905 to 1912, I think. Somewhere in that range. Um, the back is cork. There's a cork like backing on this thing. So I've got a bottle. I've got one bottle that I dug a few years ago. Um, that's a Pepsi, and it would be, and it's a straight side Pepsi. You can see here, and it's in pretty good condition. Um, it's all there, clear, clear bottle, and this would go right on top of there like that. And I might actually put that on there and keep that as a display piece. Very cool. That's round two. Later in the day. You got a bottle? Yep. Yep, it's cobalt. It was oh, not yeah. broken. What do you think? John Ryan. <laughs> you think so? Oh, yeah. 100%. Look, I hit it and it kept falling from me. It's it's I think it's broken. That's not broken. All right. All right. Now I got to get in there. There's a screwdriver down there. I don't... Yeah, I'll just take it off. I'll just take it off the top. Uh, if you want to. Be careful. Let me let me do a little bit more. Let me do a little more. No, it's not a darn right. What is it? He got it now. I got it. Oh. Let's see what we got here. I don't know what that is. 
It looks like mine, but except it's blue. The one that up the New York bottle. Well, it's a uh, mineral mineral water. It's it's a Savannah bottle. I've seen these. Actually, the box the back's got it. MT Quinn. What's the date? MT the Quinn, 1884. Wow, that's still good. Yeah, these are okay. They're not great, but this is good. Yeah, since you don't want it. <laughs> Ooh, I just popped my blister. Dang it. I popped my blister on that one. MT Quinn, Savannah, Georgia, 1884. And in the back, it's mineral water in the monogram for MT Quinn, and then the monogram on the bottom of the bottle in the base as well. This is a great example of, of this bottle. Really good condition. It's a cobalt blue, and it's got that patina. That beautiful, like, effervescent patina on the outside of the bottle. You can see there. Very cool color. Awesome bottle. Awesome. He's got a lot of energy. Ooh, look at that. A whole bunch. Well, pretty cool. Nah, no embossing. He can have that one. We'll lay it out. Uh-oh. What's that? Let's see what we got here. What you got? I don't know. Can I see a piece of it? Oh, yeah. That was good. John Ryan. <laughs> I don't know. It is. No. Yeah, it is. John Ryan. John Ryan. 1866 big letters. Wait till he gets the hole a little bigger and we'll put him in. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> man. Look at that. that. No. Right no. Uh, throw it. Throw it. Throw it as far as you can throw it. Big letters. That's a, that's a bigger one. That's nice. Yeah, that's the one I found. Oh, I'm broke right here. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, you Lord. Take a look at this, guys. John Ryan bottle, 1866. Looks to be in pretty good shape. It's big letters, 1866. Interesting. See what else you can find. The famous John Ryan, 1866. Now, this is the big letter, 1866 version of this cobalt blue bottle. Bubbles in it, beautiful condition, beautiful bottle. You can see. The base has one little chip in it. Other than that, it's perfect. Excelsior Soda Works, Savannah, Georgia, John Ryan. These are very, very popular, very collectible, um, and very valuable bottles. Cool. John Ryan. <laughs> it's down there, though. It is down there. It's got another bottle. Beer. Yep. It's a beer or something. Uh, nope, it's a wine. Wine full of water. Can you have that one too? Yep. It's a, those are in, almost indestructible. There's a bottle. Another bottle. That's a good one. Looks pretty good. John Ryan. <laughs> this one looks green. It's green of some sort. It's little. James Ray. You know what it is? Yep. James S. Ray. James Ray. Savannah. Does those have a date on it? No. Now this is a common, I've got one of these already, at least one, but nice. James Ray, Savannah, Georgia. Nice old soda bottle. These aren't the most rare of all the soda bottles in Savannah, but it's a very nice bottle. And it's a beautiful, beautiful example of one right here. 
Nice. Ooh, ooh, dude, look. Look. See it? Oh yeah, that's a what is it? Crown top? What you got? See the bottom? Right there. Alright. Right here. I see it. This one's brown, that's one. Oh, you got another bottle in the same hole? Side by side. This one's tiny. Might be another Ryan. I believe this is Orion. Huh? I think this is Orion. Take it in. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I can pull this one out. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep, it is. Nope, it's not. It's a Quinn. It's another. Oh, I got a fish, fish eye right there a little bit. MT. MT Quinn, it's the second one I got. Yep, a couple fish eyes on that one. Not great. You can probably pull it out by the neck now. Long, whatever it is. That's awesome. Maybe. <laughs> is there another bottle right there? Oh no, it's not a bitters. No embossing? It, Slick is it amber? Wait a minute, it might be embossed. I don't say anything. No, it's not. You're right. It's very, very lightly embossed. Right there. I wouldn't be able to read it. Thank you, sir. The Great Blood Purifier, Purifier or something nice. like that. Oh, yeah. Be careful that I top. What's that right there? Let's see. Huh. Nothing on it. It's a little cologne bottle with nothing on it. On the mold? I think it is. Check out how little this bottle is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Mike found one like that. Yeah. Just like that. You can have it. You don't want it? Uh-uh. You got a button? Yeah, I think so. I feel the shank. Yeah, let's see. Flat. Hmm. I don't know yet. I feel the shank, but I... Mm, looks like a three piece. Three piece, Georgia. It looks like it. Mm. Smashed down. It's one of those. Uh, it's going to be a, a um, officer's button. It's definitely three piece. Stars around the outside. Yep. It's uh, an officer's no. button. I can see the star, the shield in the middle. Well, that stinks. That's all right. That's not bad. See, like the big shields in the middle and the stars are on the outside. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's post, definitely. No, that's not post. It's just an officer's button. Uh, our staff, uh, staff <clears throat> officer button. Yep. My friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. I surely enjoyed making it for everyone. So, people interested in the settings for the XP Days 2 that I'm using start off using sensitive full tones and I adjust it. Um, reactivity is three, Audi response four, discrimination 6.8, and then I notch in the, the expert in discrimination, a notch from seven to 40. Um, I'm using PWN for the full tones and sensitivity is what it is, stock, ground balance and Noise cancel are what they are for the site, and that's pretty much it. Bye now, and God bless you all.